information, Do Not Age just released three new bonus bundles in their Black Friday sales. For details please check the links in the pinned comment or description. Please remember to use the discount code, REVERSE, to get an extra 10% off. Thank you so much for your support. So uh, we had a lot today about health span and lifespan, and I'm sure that I'm not uh, giving you any uh, news that uh, uh, if you look at the US, uh, the lifespan is around 79 years, the health span is around 30, 63 years, and uh, around 16 uh, years of our life most likely will spend on the bed, uh, connecting to a lot of tubes and uh, basically not enjoying our life. Uh, and that's basically what we are trying to do at Insta Tracker. We are trying to narrow this gap as much as we can and allow everyone to live uh, better longer. We, so we how do we blood DNA and fitness tracker? So let's play a bit with that and try to see how blood and the data from fitness tracker interact. So you can see here uh, on the left side a, a correlation analysis of all the blood biomarker with all the uh, physiological biomarker that we have. And we uh, uh, very easily notice that uh, actually VO2 max is correlated and statistically correlated. The, the, the star there showing that is statistically correlated with a lot of uh, blood biomarkers. And you can see it on the right side. And uh, just to summarize, uh, higher VO2 max positively correlated with higher HDL, testosterone, blood iron related markers, and negatively correlated with APOB, cholesterol, LDL, triglyceride, fasting glucose, A1C, HSCRP and white blood cells, which is, which is amazing. It's look like, uh, at least in our hand, HSCRP is, uh, sorry, a VO2 max is a really uh, master uh, biomarker of health span. What we done next, and again, it's Rene and uh, one of uh, the scientists in the team, her name is Nimisha, is uh, they try to see what happened if we look at our subpopulation and look at the uh, subpopulation that uh, improved their VO2 max from baseline to follow-up, what happened, uh, how are they optimizing other markers? And you can see it in this uh, table, and if you look at the HSCRP, for example, the subpopulation that uh, raised the VO2 max, 88% for them improved the HSCRP, while the subpopulation that haven't raised their VO2 max, only 47% increased the HSCRP. And you can see similar results for triglyceride, LDL, cortisol, and glucose, which is a, a really interesting result that suggests that uh, indeed VO2 max is, a, a, again, a master regulator of uh, uh, L-SPAN. Uh, sleep is uh, 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 something very interesting, and we started the day today, I think, with uh, a question about uh, jet lag and all of that. So we said, let's, let's start, try to look at sleep, but uh, let's divide uh, our sleep time between uh, uh, two, four uh, buckets or four groups. So the subpopulation that sleep less than five hours, five to seven hours, optimal seven to nine hours, and above nine hours. And here you can see an example of how the VO2 max look like if you divide it by sleep. And you can see that uh, very uh, significantly, people that sleep between five to se sorry, seven to nine hours, their VO2 max is uh, significantly higher than the other subpopulation, at least in our uh, data set. We also looked at a few blood biomarkers, and you can see a similar result for triglyceride, LDL cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol, both of them going in the right direction. Um, so again, uh, don't underestimate your sleep. Um, 